In this video we are going to be covering a number of end of year processes for a OneNote class notebook. At the moment I'm in my own year 11 visual art class notebook and we've just come to the end of the year. What I'll be doing is showing you how to move content into this section group which is called teacher only and this will ensure that students no longer see the content that's been available to them throughout the year. I'll also be exporting using a number of different scenarios and discussing why exporting, while it's not necessary, may also be a good option for you. So I'll get out of the teacher only space and I'll go up and back into my content library. Now in here, I've grouped my content in these four section groups, term one, two, three, and four. If I go into my term one section group, I just had a single term one tab in there. What I'm going to do is right click and move the term one section, there's the notebook, into the teacher only space. And what this will do when it syncs with my students' computers, they will no longer see the term one content in this class notebook. So I hit the move button. You'll see that it's now gone from the content library. We've got two, three and four left. If I go back up and into my teacher only section, I've got my original tab of just random pages that I've used throughout the year. And now I've got that same term one section group. When I expand that, here is the term one section. I'll go up. We're in the teacher only space. Let's go up again back into the content library. Now I'm going to do the same for term two, which had four tabs and three, three tabs, term four, which had one tab. Term two, right click, move. 2018, that's our class notebook. Here's our teacher only space, move. Two left. I'll move term four first, right click, move from the content library to the teacher only space. Let's do a quick check. Up to the top of the notebook, into the teacher only space. Yep, term one, two and four are in there. Let's go inside. You can see that all of the tabs, it's kept their colors, it's kept their layout, it's kept their content. Now I'm going to finish this part of this demonstration with a term three move, but a different process. What I've been doing so far is right clicking on section groups and moving them. This is by far the easiest way to do it. But you might have a class notebook that has lots of separate tabs instead. So you can do that as well. What I can do is right click and I can also move these into the teacher only section. So even though I've been demonstrating this with section groups, which are these, by just right clicking and moving, you can, if you don't see section groups, just right click and move all your folders, move, right click, move one at a time. That will still put them into the teacher only space. To finish this, I'm going to right click, move term three into the teacher only space, move, I now have a completely empty content library that will um, sync across student devices shortly so that when they go back into my um, class notebook, they'll see that there's no content there. That's good. You've taken all that content off your students' devices. Surely they don't, they don't need it anymore once the, the year is finished. And if we go into teacher-only space, I now have all of my content still, but it's in a space where only myself and other co-teachers can access it. 